three, two, one, go! <laughs> careful! I'm always careful. As a scientist who's dedicated his life to keen observation, I can say with total certainty that you are not always careful. The Knight's modifications aren't fully tested, but we won't know if we've raised the top speed if we don't push it to the limit. I suspect you've reached the limit. Just a teeny bit past the limit, then. If I beat these sailfish, it'll mean the Shadow Knight is faster than the fastest fish in the sea. Whoa! The fastest fish in the sea is pretty fast. Good observation. I'll write it down. as long as you have a good excuse for destroying our core sample drill. I... I... Oh. <laughs> My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. Another piece of the drill. <laughs> At least it'll be easier to store now that it's in so many small pieces. Ugh. Please tell me this is the last one. Okay, but I don't like to lie. Ant, about your race. Look, I agree it's important to take responsibility, but the fish are just as responsible as me, if not more so. How fast do you think they were going? I've read sailfish can hit 100 kilometers an hour. 110! That's amazing. There's supposed to be punishment. You skipped over the punishment. And knows he made a mistake. True. Plus, there might be punishment later. No need. I am very remorseful. I have truly learned the error of my ways. Ugh. Oh, please. The Aranax can do around 80 clicks, the Shadow Knight 90. So? Yep. Sailfish are faster than the fastest sub and the fastest knight. <laughs> For now. For now? I assume you're working on something clever and foolish. Professor Fiction and I may be testing some modifications. Hmm. I'd never ask you to stop experimenting. But we could strongly suggest it, though, right? Just be careful. Dad, a little backup here? I think I'd like to know more about these sailfish. Oh, if only you were married to a brilliant marine biologist. The key to those high speeds is the body shape and the fin. The fin's lowered when the fish is speeding, and then it shoots up to turn. They were pulling off really tight turns. I couldn't keep up. The power of the sail. Imagine that maneuverability. On a sub or a night? Oh, it'd be easier to avoid hazards, track fast-moving creatures. <laughs> we need to know more about how it works. Like, when do they activate? At what speed? Is water pressure a factor? And we'll discuss Ant's punishment later, then? We need hard data to answer those questions. So, we should race again. Hmm. You're absolutely right. I am? He is? I'll do it. Yes! I... What? You? But I love racing! Logically, the most experienced pilot who is also a marine biologist should race. Uh, oh. Also, Fontaine's right. You broke the drill and you should be punished. Ah. Mm, this is all your fault. Hmm. If we shut off the stealth systems entirely, that could give us maybe 6% extra power for propulsion. It could lead to instability. Well, the best pilot could stabilize it themselves. Then I look forward to doing so. Ooh, I could add small stabilizing fins. Yes, I'd love that. I 
You, uh, you'd love it when you're racing in my custom knight. Those fins could be enough to ensure victory. It's not about winning. It's about gathering valuable data. Uh, it's a little about winning, yeah? Hmm, I don't hate the idea. I never knew you had this competitive streak. It's almost bigger than your competitive streak. It's not a competition. It's not much of a competition when we all know I'll win. That's the kind of thing Ed would say. Found the sailfish. Camera two. Heading there now. Wait, we've got needlefish on camera five. The sailfish will head towards them, and they'll pass you on the way. They'll be chasing food, moving at top speed. The perfect chance for a race. Uh, I know this is all for scientific reasons, but am I the only one who... Who's excited to see who wins? Nope. Ooh, they're almost there. I see them. Three, two, one. Go! is weird that's very bad what's going on they're sick something is very very wrong here easy we're all friends here worried about the carnivores Jeffrey it's okay. Our guests don't have much of an appetite. I think these guys hate me swabbing their gills even more than Ant hates losing. I don't hate losing. I just prefer winning. A lot. These sailfish have been exposed to engine oil. So the race didn't wear them out? No. They'd have gotten sick the minute they passed through it. There's oil on this, too. There must be a spill along the race route. You see that? We must be closer to the source. How do you figure? If the patch we swam through was that thick, I would have noticed. <laughs> it's not sinking from above. It's leaking from somewhere down below. Either that, or every law of hydrology and physics has ceased to apply. <laughs> no, it's definitely what you said. The dispersant is working quicker than I remember. Did you tweak it? Ah, thank you for noticing. It's breaking the oil into even smaller droplets, so it degrades more quickly. Nice work. Oh, this spill is pretty bad. Those sailfish must have been hit hard. I was so caught up in my stupid race that I didn't even notice. I wasn't gonna say anything, but the fish were slower against you than they were against me. And you were checking that data in the interest of science, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Science. Who cares who was going faster? Let's clean this mess. I think he's ready to be released. You don't think he should stay? Being in his own habitat's probably best. Who doesn't like relaxing at home after you've been sick? So long. Stay safe. You think the other one will be okay? 
Mm -hmm. It just needs time. And unless Jeffrey works out how to operate the claw, there's not much danger in the moon pool. Right. Now let's find the source of that oil. Given the direction of the current, the source of the oil should be close. Hey, look! That's even worse than I thought. Wait till I track down whoever dumped this. I almost feel sorry for them. Tiny Nectar. You know my name. If I wasted precious mental energy on remembering your silly child name, I would be deeply ashamed of myself. Ouch. Children are not allowed in this place, and by children, I mean you. You are not allowed in this place. You're dumping oil. It has to stop. How dare you accuse me of something I did not do? Where is your proof? Proof? Well, there were barrels, and, and a boat, and, I mean, you're you. You have nothing. Go away, child. Whatever your name is. Ah! Uh, is this a time for diplomacy? Nope. Uh, Dad, uh, maybe this isn't a good idea. I Aunt? Three, four, five, six... Dolos, we need to talk. Six, good. You could have hurt Ant. Perhaps the boy knocked the barrels over himself, due to the clumsiness typical of children. That's not true! Hey! He's just pretending to be busy so he doesn't have to talk to us. Ridiculous. It is very important that I count these crates, then check them for something. Check them for what, huh? Check them for what, huh? I haven't decided yet. See? What do you know about illegally dumped engine oil? Nah, the floating market is a very big enterprise. Very busy. And very illegal. Like any industrial enterprise, there is waste. From pumps, generators, engines. Could some make its way into the water? It is possible. But to think I would be responsible? Outrageous! We'll see what the World Oceans Authority has to say. This is a he said, he said situation. And one of the he's is an annoying child that nobody will believe. People will believe me. I'm highly respected. See? I don't believe you. Look, if I find the culprit, I will give them a very stern talking to. Many strong words. That is my final word. And my final word is, we will catch you, Dolos. That is five words, William. <sighs> Let's go, Ant. Any luck with that drum label? I thought there might be a point of origin, a batch number, but it's too degraded. How to go with Dolos? He's lying, but we can't do much without proof. He's still hanging around? He misses his friend. Ooh, the sailfish seems better. 
We've done all we can, but it'll be a while before she's at full strength. I'm sure she'll be racing in no time. Speaking of racing, I made some tweaks based on the data from Keiko's race. Did you look at Ant's race too, or did you just want winning data? Mom, this has stopped being funny. Hmm, that depends on your point of view. It's quite humorous. Uh, just explain the modifications. Well, since those fins made a difference, I added another. So I'll win by even more next time? Excellent. Mom! Keep up the good work, Professor. I also had a thought on piloting the night. If you hold your arms out in front of you, thumbs together, it'll create a point, minimizing drag and increasing speed. Interfering with the night again? Improving it. No, perfecting it. Destruction seems more like you. Everyone, check the drone footage. Whoa, he's preparing to dump again. And this time we've got him. dumping spot. Whoa! I'd love to race, buddy, but we're on a mission. Is Dolo slowing down already? <laughs> oh, I should hire flunkies for this menial labor. Oh, that's bad. What now? Dozens of drums. This must be an old dumping site. Oh no! More broken barrels! We'll need more of that oil-eating stuff. Much more. We're on our way. What's our next... Oh, no. No! Ugh, look at it! It could have oil in its gills, too! If it does, that fish won't survive for long. You have to bring it in. I'm on it! No! Come back! You have to chase that fish down and get it back here now. I don't think I can. It's the fastest thing in the sea. If you don't, it's as good as doomed. <sighs> You need to steer it back toward us. I'm going faster than this night's ever gone, and it's still not enough. If that fish is going at full speed, the oil hasn't penetrated his system yet. But there was more oil than before, so once it seeps in, we won't have any time. Catch it now, Ant. Let's get you back to the air next. It's thickest here. Dolos is getting away! Don't worry, Fontaine. The spill first, then Dolos. Okay, Mom, we're coming now! Ready, Keiko? Ready, Will. Okay, nice and easy. Here we come! Now, Dolos, it's time to face the music. get it. They both look clean. But how? Maybe the professor's dispersant, but definitely those fast speeds blasted the oil off its body. Wow. Maybe I actually helped. Dolos, stop now. This is over. We have the proof we need. Ah, you may have proof, but you don't have me. <laughs> No, you do have me. Footage has been sent to the World Oceans Authority. They're on the way. You could have done the right thing. Instead, you did the Dolos thing. Uh, 
Why do I always do the Dolos thing? The fish are fine, according to every test I can think to run. Look. The miracle of a few hours rest and relaxation. They look fit. And fast, don't they? The drums are gone, the oil has been cleaned. We have some free time. Three, two, one, and go! A great start! But Will and Fontaine in the pretty fast but not fast enough nights have fallen behind! Ugh. Keiko draws close to the ocean's fastest night! And is impressed, and a little upset, but mostly impressed. I have Professor Fiction make some upgrades to the White Knight. Professor, you're supposed to be on my side. There are no signs. Sorry, Mom. This is my day. Thanks, Professor. Yes! Just messing with us. Well, Ant, time to give up. None of the knights can beat that. Okay, okay. I guess humanity can't be best at everything. Sometimes you can't beat nature. <laughs>